everyone, it's Sean, and in order of honor of First Contact Day, April 5th this year, I am going to unbox my 1400 scale Enterprise E. Now, of course, I already have one. It was model number two when I first started building again in 2018, but that one was all hand painted and everything, and it was a silver chrome color. This one will be a uh, more like that. So maybe a dark ghost gray like Voyager. And of course, here you can see the back. Four cube firing at it. There's the base it stands on and everything. And I think it's a 2011. So I'm going to unbox it. Take a look at all the uh, parts and everything. And we'll go from there. So I'll be right back with that. Apparently I've forgotten because it had been a number of years since I bought this model, but I have found the, the A Creation 1400 scale Aztec decals for a Nemesis lock. So I'm just going to put them in a proper Ziploc bag. Okay, so it'll look uh, quite different from the other one. That's kind of a relief. Now let's make sure that I have a uh, Ziploc bag big enough to keep them in. So it'll have to be one of these two, I think. Uh, not that one. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, if you trim around the edges a bit, so I'll be back. Good thing is, it comes with its nice uh, placement guide. They'll have to use my magnifying glass. This is, comes with escape pods, which are uh, pretty well the same color as the other one. It has its impulse engine and the cell trench decals. Even the yellow deflector dish, although I thought it was blue in other movies. And as you see, the Aztec decals are... How many pages? One page, two page, three page, wow, four. And there's the black trim on the nacelles. So I'm going to carefully uh, trim so I can fit in the Ziploc bag, and then we'll take a closer look at each page. And don't worry, I uh, backed up all my footage from the phone onto the external hard drive yesterday, so it's full of room. So first page has been uh, cut rough oval shape of the top of the hull. As you can see, it's in several sections, inner, outer, middle, the black piping on the back and everything. I guess that's for the bridge dome. Look at all the intricate detail. Now, 87 left, but don't forget that you can break this up along individual grid line sections. You see here? Or at least break this up, this could be one piece, that could be one piece, that and that. And then the outer rings and everything. And look at how light gray it is. So you can see that there's some that's going to be nearly invisible. You might want to have a very light gray primer look like the Excelsior in order to make it work. So I'm going to uh, take a look at the bottom saucer next. At least I assume that's the bottom saucer. Yeah, because here's where the secondary hull goes. Let me do that. Okay, so here is number two. So the bottom saucer, again, you can see how the in outer band is thinner. This band is almost white, except for a few parts. It is a brownish gray color. So a light gray primer, which has a slightly brownish gray tinge to it with pearl white over top, should work just fine, just like it did for the Excelsior. And you can see the other parts of the bottom saucer. And how these sections are split up into four different pieces. Although this is all one piece, I may end up cutting here and there. Because trying to put that whole thing on as one piece might be problematic at best. And then the brownish gray piping. Almost like the royal light gray that is the whole color of the Enterprise. But if anything, it's even more brown than that. 
you're getting into AS18 territory there, but these are the colors you have. A creation always seems to tend towards a brownish gray, like you saw on the uh, decals for the motion picture refit. But that's what it looked like on screen. And here's page three. So this is all nacelle struts, secondary hull pieces. Of course, that's the top of the bridge section, the saucer, yep. Mm -hmm. And then these are for all the nacelles. So I'll cut them so they fit in the bag, and you've already seen this. And then we'll move on to the kit decals and the kit parts themselves. Turns out the kit decals are already open. And... Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to leave them in that bag, but here we go. So... If you don't like the trim, the brownish gray trim of the A Creation models, you have some more bluish gray or neutral trim that you can use for the top of the bridge. If you don't like the color of their Aztec decals, I mean their escape pods, you have a different color scheme to use here. Plus it comes with the registry number, name, nacelle, piping, and whatever these gray stripes are, which are probably listed on the instructions. Because this is not the generation of model kit that had the in decals on the box. Decal placement on the box. See? It's all listed on here. And silver and gold for the com badge. Ah, colors. Which, of course, I will use. And it's quite a lot because you have... There, see, phaser horseshoes again. And you have all the escape pods and everything listed, so that's great. This is my first time unboxing this kit, but I like that the uh, kit comes with everything. Oh, and the assembly. Of course, I'll be painting the clear parts by themselves. And you see the nacelle assembly. The assembly to the struts, secondary hull. Then you attach all four pieces together and fit those slots in. Nice thick tabs, that's good. And it fits to the base. All right, so now it's on to the kit itself. All right, so the first part is the saucer itself. So you can see how even the saucer plastic is a creamy white, not a pure white, so it goes with the brownish gray decals. And you can see how you have the navigation lights, you have the inset windows, you have the phaser strip, which is thinner than it is on both the D and the Voyager. Now, the interesting thing is that this uh, does not have pegs, at least not obviously. Well, it has the tiniest pegs, see here? Peg holes. And the tiniest, tiniest pegs. Look how tiny that peg is. So gluing all along the inner edge is going to be necessary. There's the bottom of the saucer and the inset windows and everything. So, And look, look, look. Those indents there are probably white lights all the way along. There's the RCS thrusters. Okay, so that's that's the saucer and now we'll move on to the clear part bag next. Which I'll make sure is on the top of the box, not underneath the saucer, when I repack it. Clear part bag has the uh, rod inside for the stand. See the clear parts against the stand. So there's the nacelles, there's the impulse engines, there's the Bassard collectors, deflector dish, and I'm not sure what this is. Maybe that's the shuttle bay door. But it seems to me, ah, there's the ridges, see? All the ridges are on this side, so that's how I'm going to repack it. Very good. Yeah, there we go. Okay, next up is... Ah, the secondary hull. All right, so the secondary hull has pegs and holes again. This is the part that fits underneath the saucer. This is the part where you see all the detail, including the, the windows. 
There's the slot that the uh, nacelles fit in. You see how deep inside the slot is. So that should work wisely. I might do a test fit with the nacelle struts when I take them out. Okay. All right, uh, time to uh, check out the next bag. The next bag is a huge bag. It has everything else in it. So it has the nacelle struts and the stand and some tiny little... Okay. Certainly a lot of flash on here, but there are a few parts, of course. Even part 21. Now, I don't know what that is unless that's the stand hole for the bottom of the hull. Hmm. And the nacelles come in four different sections and make it easier to tape. Look at all the space to grip it. There's the stand. So you can see 2013. So that was about 11 years ago. Very nice. Very easy to grip when you paint it because you're going to paint this gold. I mean silver and that gold. And here we go. So secondary or primary hull pieces. That's where the deflector dish will go. There's the shuttle bay. And then you get to the back of the saucer, I think. There's decals that match that. And here are the nacelle struts. So, pegs and holes. Hopefully it doesn't matter which one goes where. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, there you go, see? So, kind of like that. Mm -hmm. Of course, you can't test on the side of the secondary hull. It's attached. And, of course, one, uh, the one came loose, but that's okay. They're all uh, part numbered, as you can see. All right, that's good. So, let's put everything back in the bag. Hope that this little piece that's just floating here is not significant in any way because that looks like a little bottom of the hull or something. All right, so I'll put everything back in the bag now. Yeah, the attachment strut is on one side only, not the other. <laughs> Don't lose that. All right, into the bag it goes. I mean the box. There we go. Saucer. Actually, I think I'll use this for the nacelles in the secondary hull. All right, so everything's back in the box. It all fits nicely. Should be right side up. Good. And now you can put it away.